Well, I ran some high ticket affiliate marketing promotions, some of them pulling in up to $100,000 in that green cheddar. Stay tuned because I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it in this video and the dark side of high ticket affiliate marketing promotions they don't want you knowing about. Ooh, let's get going. Oh, and by the way, I just got back from a nice summer vacation in Switzerland and I climbed on top of this small little rock here in the middle of this pond overlooking the Matterhorn. People started yelling at me though. They were telling me to get down because I was right in the middle of their shots. <laughs> I just laughed and took a nap anyway. And this trip funded by some of the high ticket affiliate marketing tactics that you're gonna learn in this video. Hi, my name is Dan Barak, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate from Deadbeat.com. And let's start off by actually defining what high ticket affiliate marketing really is. So high ticket affiliate marketing is the art of selling high price products anywhere in the range of $1,000, even up to $100,000. And when you make that sale, you get a cut of the commissions. We're talking the big bucks. What that means for you is that if you do this right, just a handful of sales can result in a full-time income online every single month. Now for full transparency here, affiliate marketing is a risky business. Everything you see in this video is not really financial advice. Matter of fact, the average affiliate marketer basically makes nothing online. But you're here watching this video right now, so I don't think that you are average. Now I want to dissect an important question that I receive on almost a daily basis when I'm not too lazy to actually answer them. So the question is, is, is it harder to sell a higher price product than it is a lower price product? And the answer is, which you might not expect, yes and no. Okay, let me explain. So let's compare two products. Let's compare the $1,600 electric bike versus a vac life handheld vacuum. So if a visitor is going on to Google, for example, and typing in review based product keywords, so the VacLife handheld vacuum, a keyword that someone might type in is VacLife handheld vacuum review. So this gets about 130 global searches per month, easy keyword difficulty. And the other comparison product, the VeloWave electric bike, let's take a look at those keywords. So we are seeing here a 140 global volume, but if you look at the review keyword, it's a little bit less. Even still, this is a nice and juicy keyword with very little difficulty here as far as ranking is concerned. And these two keywords, we're talking the review keyword for the electric bike and also the handheld vacuum bike, these are basically going to convert at the same rate. So if someone goes to Google and they're typing in either of these keywords, they've already made up in their mind that they want to buy that product. So even though it's more money, it doesn't matter if they're in the same cycle, the same buying cycle for that product. So the conversion rate is going to be close, maybe not exactly the same because it is a little bit more expensive, but it is going to convert about the same. So what that means for you is all you have to do is create a couple short videos, some in-depth blog posts and targeting that keyword and you will rank for that. Considering that, just pulling this up, there is easy keyword difficulty for this particular keyword. So by the way, if you're looking for a tool that helps you figure out the actual keyword difficulty, I use personally SEM Rush for it. Check out my blog at deadbeat.com slash SEM. That's deadbeat.com slash SEM. And I do a complete review on how, how this software works and why it's important to have it as an affiliate marketer. And come to think of it, that was affiliate marketing product review inception. Mind blown. Now I completely lost my train of thought. So where I was getting at with this concept here is because it's a review based keyword, they're already decided they want to buy. You don't need to spend hours long with them to convince them to buy the product. All you have to do is create some short videos, some decent blog posts, publish them. And eventually when you rank, you will land some sales. Now there is a problem with this. And that is this, when you're looking at numbers, like for example, VacuLife handheld vacuum review, this is 30 searches per month. So 30 searches per month, 130 searches per month global. You're only, if you rank, you might get a sale here and there every single month. So what if you want to make more than just a couple thousand dollars a month? You wanna hit those bigger paydays. Say for example, like this promotion I did, that is an excellent question. More on that in just a second. In the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It gets the lazy mojo going. I don't even know what that means. Let's just get back to the video. So when you want to do larger volume, we're talking the ability to land 10, 20, or even 100 sales per month, and it's a higher ticket product, it requires a little bit of more skill. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say you have an affiliate offer that you're trying to promote. Let's just say it's a I don't know, like a photography course for $100. And as an affiliate, you receive 50%. So that's a $50 sale for you. 
Because it's so low price point, it's a much more of an impulse buy. So again, short videos, some short ads, short blog posts is all it's going to take to really set, get the visitor's attention. And then you send them over to the vendor sales page and the vendor sales page will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. With high ticket though, it's not the same. So let's say Bob is browsing YouTube, he's scrolling and watching some Andrew Tate trolling videos. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. It's going to be very hard for you to interrupt Bob in that moment and sell him, for example, a $5,000 set of golf clubs. The only way you can take them from browsing the internet to wanting to buy a $5,000 piece of equipment is to send them through a sophisticated sales process. Now, I know one of you goobers out there is saying, well, well Dan, uh, some rich dude will buy it on a whim. You can't really count on that, all right? We're talking about how to systematically do this and the majority of people aren't willing to spend $5,000 on a whim. They need to deeply understand that the product that you're promoting is the solution for them. And not only that, but it's the best thing out, out there for them so that they can make a yes decision for that product. Doing all this takes time. The prospect has to spend time with you for them to understand that you have the solution to their problem. So when I'm trying to sell a high ticket product, whether it be mine or one as an affiliate, what I do is I send people through long form webinars and long form videos. These work wonders. And just to give you an example, here is a small webinar that I put together. This is one I did with a partner. So what, how it worked was is I introduced the person and about halfway through, Jay came in and started presenting, my friend Jay came in to start presenting the offer. And then I close it off with my bonus offers and all kinds of things like results that I received with the product and additional bonuses that I created for this offer. And we'll talk more about this in just a second. But here's the thing. What I found through my experience is that 5% or if it's a really good offer, 10% of people who attend your live webinars will actually end up buying the product that you're trying to sell. The rest need some time to think about it. They might have some other things that are doing that will come back at a later date. So what that means is that it is very important that you create several emails and video follow-ups to all the people that attend your webinars. We're talking even up to two months. Some people promote their affiliate offers or the product that you're trying to sell. As far as I'm concerned, the more touch points that you have with the person viewing your offer, the better off you're going to do. That's what I found from my experience. And just to give you an example here, here is one of my autoresponders for a offer that I created. And you can see here that I am following up for several days. We're talking 14 days. And these are a mix between emails. The emails will just be email content, so text content. Some of them have actual videos in them. In addition, in this sequence, I even have a second webinar that I send people to. So yes, I will create several webinars to promote the same exact product. You want to really hammer in that webinar or that concept to that particular prospect. So the more that you contact the customer, usually the better off that it's going to be. Now in the short term, yes, this is more work. You can see I'm setting up huge follow-up sequences, but in the long run, it actually turns out to be less work because you create way more leverage by creating a process like this, by basically converting a higher ticket product at about the same rate as you would at a lower ticket product when you go through this process. Question for you. Are you enjoying this video? I hope so. It's been a blast making it thus far. Stay tuned for some more tips coming up in this video. In the meantime, if you haven't, check out my free workshop that shows you how I've created my affiliate marketing businesses from scratch with very little upfront investment, it's mostly just my time, to earn tens of thousands of dollars a month as an affiliate marketer. So check that out at deadbeat.com slash free. There will also be a link below. All right, more tips as promised. Another thing that you can do to really increase the conversions of high ticket products is actually to put together your own bonus package to go with the product that you are promoting as an affiliate. Yes, that is right. You're gonna to wanna to create a bonus package to add in and kind of juice up the mojo. And when you do this right, you can actually make your bonus package the perception of value to be more than the actual investment of the product that they're buying. So if you're able to pull that off, if the viewer looks at your bonus package and they're like, wow, the product is $1,000, the bonus package to me is gonna be at least worth $1,000 and I get the actual product too, it is a no-brainer situation, a win-win, win-win for the prospect. Now to give you some examples of that, let's say for example, you're promoting a software as an affiliate, okay? So let's just say it's a software that helps real estate agents 
uh, generate leads, okay? So as an affiliate for that software, what you would do is you would put the software into action, you'd get leads, and then you'd create a training product around the software and say, here's how I use the actual software to generate 15 leads as a real estate agent. So when you buy the software, not only that are you gonna get the software, but you're gonna get my bonus package, which is a complete course on how I use the software itself to generate you know, 20 or 30 leads a month. And I'm also gonna coach you as a bonus, a one hour session for free when you sign up through my affiliate link. Now, I, I just did that off the top of my head, but if you think about your bonus package and really craft it so that it complements the product that you're trying to sell, it makes it even better, amps it up 10 or, 10 or 15 times, it is a very easy sale to make. And that's exactly what I did for this $200,000 promotion. It did 200K in revenue, resulting in $100,000 in commissions over seven days. All I did was I put together a small software tool. It costs about $1,000 and two to three days to make. I created that as my bonus package or as my bonus included when the buyer bought the affiliate offer that I was promoted. We hit it out of the park to date. That has been my most successful promotion over seven days as an affiliate. Now, if you're feeling particularly lazy and you don't feel like actually putting that bonus package together, you can actually talk to your vendor that you're promoting and ask them if they can do something for you. So most professional vendors will actually already have some bonuses that they kind of keep hidden that if you ask them, they will include that for you that you can just use those as a bonus. So with this webinar you see here that I did, I basically did that. I said, hey guys, do you have anything that I can offer in addition to the main product. And they gave me a couple of software tools that I included with the promotion, which was actually a great success. And it gave the buyer a lot more features, a lot more kind of oomph with their, their product that they bought. Okay, now this is a very important part of this video. So we've covered the good in high ticket affiliate marketing promotions so far. There is lots of money to be made, but there is a sketchy, shady side to high ticket affiliate promotions. Taking a look at some of these offers on Offer Vault, I've just filtered my payout here, and I'm not saying any of these are scams. I'm just showing this just to show you like what, what's out there. See how it's saying there's a $1,500 payout? As a, an affiliate, you receive this money. Now, the crypto space is a little bit sketchy. It reminds me of back in the day, there was this hot topic. It was called binary options. And in the internet marketing space, a lot of people were promoting this particular product that I, I remember off the top of my head here. And as an affiliate, you would get paid something like a $200 CPA. So you would get paid $200 if someone bought a $50 course from your link. Okay, so it's a $50 course, yet you're getting paid $200. It didn't really match up. What actually was happening is, is the vendor had this, de this deal with this binary options website. It was basically a gambling website. And if that vendor convinced the buyer of the course to upload $10,000 to the binary option website, they would get paid something like a thousand dollar commission. So what they were doing is the vendor knew they'd get paid a thousand dollars and they took that money here and paid it. They moved it to the front for the affiliate. So the affiliate got an extra hundred and they got 150 out of that a thousand dollars. So people just kept promoting it and promoting it. They were making like three to four times the amount of money that they would otherwise. So everyone was promoting it. But what was happening is the customer who bought was getting rinsed of literally $10,000 or more. They were taking huge losses. So eventually this product actually got shut down by the FTC. They raided their like office and all that and did all this crazy stuff because it was basically a scam. So you want to really make sure and vet these products, especially in the crypto space. Again, I don't know any of these products. They're, I'm not saying they're scams. I haven't use any of them. Some of them are probably all right. You want to vet these though to make sure. And this also reminds me of another interesting case. This was Mob. This was kind of like an online business training platform. And what they were offering were something like masterminds for like a hundred grand. They had little group coaching for like 30 grand and they were really taking advantage of people. So most people bought into the program uh, to pay expensive, expensive memberships because they were promised to make all this money. It was basically a MLM scheme. And some people lost 20 or even 30. I think there were some people losing up to $100,000. Don't quote me on that. Allegedly, that's what happened. In fact, pulling it, using the Wayback Machine to pull up the Mo website here, it says you get exclusive rights to market the same program that you're investing in and get a $5,000 per sale. So yeah, this is a $20,000 product, I believe. So basically to promote this product, you had to be in the mastermind. 
So it was borderline an MLM scheme and they had a lot of salespeople on the back end. Allegedly, this is what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but they were basically pulling in unqualified people to buy this product. So it wasn't like it was some business owner who was already making money with their business. They were grabbing, allegedly, this is what I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, like old grandmas, they convinced them to take out credit cards, credit debt, you tap into their retirement funds to pay for these expensive packages that they really had no business in buying or even being involved with. So just keep that in mind when you're looking through products, spend some time vetting it out, even consider buying the product for yourself because if you own the product, if you use it, you're just going to be that much better at selling it. Like, have you ever looked at a website and someone's promoting a product and you just know they don't own it? Well, people can tell. Like this video and check out my most recent video. It's time for me to go take a nap.